Alright guys, welcome back to the second part of, uh, <clears throat> uh, Panzer Medals, Panzer Medals, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it correctly, anyways, this is the second part, and, uh, if you all remember from the first episode, if you haven't seen it, or, like, the first part, if you haven't seen it already, you should go watch that and then come back to this, but I don't know why you would watch the second part before the first, but anyways, uh, we left off on this amazing trivial question of, if I've be ever been inside of a tank. Um, I'm kind of wondering what she means by that. Like, maybe, like, am I a virgin? I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's, let's see what the options are. Uh, yes, in training. No, I never have. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. This one. It's okay. Well, once in training, we did a tank and maintenance class. It was pretty fun, actually. I got to fire a couple of rounds through the barrel. If you know what I mean. Oh. So, she let you touch her? Whoa, whoa. Normal tank. Not a tank girl. Oh. Tee hee. <laughs> Look, man, she's so excited. Uh, well, you're coming with me. Let's get a drink. Actually, kind of got to go. Uh, sure, why not? Screw it. Yeah, let's go get something to drink, guys. Come on. Hell yeah, man. We're, we got this. Hee <laughs> hee. Yeah, come on. Let's go. I'm glad you guys are here to watch this. I'm, I'm glad the people who actually watch my videos, I want to give a big thanks to you guys. You guys are the best. Thank you. All right, let's get to going. Uh, you and IS2 walk down the street. Uh, she keeps trying to brush her hair against yours. Man, she's totally freaking hitting on me. Obviously, she isn't the master of subtlety. Exactly, man. She's like so fucking like, she's so blatantly hitting on me. Man. I mean, look, she is so like, you can tell easily. Boom, right there. You just look at the eyes, man. It's it's even how you do it for like in real life. I mean, not that I know. Uh, come on, Erwin. Let's get it. Let's get that drink. Uh, she pulls you into the bar by the hand. Obviously, you don't have much of a choice in this matter. You never do, guys. Just, just remember that. The bar is dimly lit, and it smells of sweat, alcohol, and do I smell cosmoly? I think that's like a vodka or something. In the background, a beat-up radio plays soft jazz music. Oh, yeah. IS2 leads you to the bar counter where a crusty bearded man peers out at you from behind an open bottle of vodka. His eyes meet IS2's, and he takes a swig. What can I... What can I get you, Tavarish? <laughs> the usual. And Erwin... Erwin here will have... Ein Glas Wasser bit. <laughs> Whatever she's having. Something hard. Cranberries. Fuck. Uh, I'll just think about what she's having, you know. It fit in, you know, a little bit more. Uh, whatever she's having, hit me. Make it double. Make... <laughs> Alright, two white Russians. Make them, hey, make them double. Wait, a double? Don't worry, man, we got this. Don't worry. Come on, let's unwind after a long first day. Just you, me, and some vodka. She winks and laughs. Oh. Well, okay, sure. Whatever the hell that means. <laughs> she downs the entire glass. What? Za -za -rovi? I have no idea what that was. Psycho. Woo, that was good. Pick up. <laughs> oh god. You start to take a sip of your drink. <laughs> you know what's my favorite maneuver? Oh god. Envel envelopment behind from behind? <laughs> you choke on your drink. <coughs> what? Uh, <laughs> I try, guys. Uh, it's true. It's so effective. Especially when the enemy isn't expect expecting you. Uh, you press the attack and, <laughs> and penetrate their lines from behind. 
My papa Yosef taught me that. What? <laughs> we. Uh, what about you? Do you have a favorite maneuver? Oh god. <laughs> Wee's cough or eh? Uh, cough. Me too. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Me too. I like choking them of their resources. They'll pay for the disloyalty to Rodano. Rodana. I, I, I thought that exclamation point was a L, guys. Sorry. Uh, loyalty? Rodina? Yes. It means a lot to me and my family. People keep leaving me. Oh, well, I'm sorry, I is too. <laughs> but you didn't leave me. You came here with me now. You're great, Erwin. She slaps you on the back. Well, thanks, mate. Ow. You spill your drink. Don't spill, silly. Finish your drink and let's dance. I really don't dance. I kind of can't breathe. I really don't dance, you know. It's be like the subtle type, you know, like how they do the movies, like, oh. I'm not much of a dancer, but then they like lead you out there anyway, and then you end up having a fun time or stuff like that. Um, I don't really dance. <laughs> everybody can dance, silly. And yet, not everybody should. You spoil sport. That's okay. You can watch. Don't be peeking at my armored skirt. I mean, I th I'm not sure if she's blushing or if that's just like, I think she's blushing. Right now. I, I wasn't sure if that was like, just like. Radiating, radiating off her eye or anything, but yeah, I think she, I think she's blushing. Did she like her? Her hair switched sides, man. It, it, what we were seeing the right eye, and now it's covering this side. So now we're going to look. Uh, she makes her way to the musky floor, of the mostly empty bar, and begins to dance. Saxophone laced in your window. Blight. <laughs> I asked too. What did I say about dancing on? Dancing in the bar. Ah, <laughs> all right. She win winds and joins you back at the bar. So, did you like your first day at tank school? It was really weird. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, it was awesome. Because you met me, right? Uh, sure. Why not? <laughs> Don't play coy. Let's drink. I is too. We have class in the morning. That's right, class. In the morning, we have vodka right now. She likes her drinks, maybe a little too much. Suddenly, an old sounding song comes on over the radio and a few patrons in the bar begin to toast and sing. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> Beautiful music! Just kidding, guys. Uh, wait a second. Isn't that the... Uh... That's Soviet, bro. The Soviet hymn, Za Stalina. <laughs> you can see a single solitary tear roll down the bartender's cheek. <laughs> Your patriotism belongs at another time, Tavarish. The song dies down and most of the patrons clear out of the bar. What an abru- what the hell just abruptly stops? I'm gonna head home, Erwin. Want my number? Sure. <laughs> sure, give me your number. 786-519-3708. Call me, won't you? She gets up from her seat and winks at you as she walks out of the bar. She wants to leave. You finish your last drink, and the bartender puts out a cigarette. Huh? I didn't think you were allowed to smoke in bars in Japan. It is also against bar rules to be a little... I think that's a curse word, guys. In bar, but not throw you out, yet da. Uh, right. Have a nice night. You leave the bar and start walking back to your house. Oh, I'm digging this music. You make your way home. Trucking across the entire town to get there. Damn. That girl dragged me far. You mutter as you approach your apartment. What a nut anyway. Seriously. You open the front door and go upstairs to your room. Wow, we got a decent looking apartment, I guess. Huh? You sit on your bed and take your shoes off one by one. There's only two of them, I'm trying to think of. 
I don't even know. I mean, could she have been any more forward? God, I'm probably going to have to see her at school tomorrow too. Uh, I need to figure out what her deal is. Man, she wants you, man. What simple hell, what any of this is, tank school stuff is. I can't exactly ask the sergeant. Sherman wasn't much help. Wait, the nurse mentioned a manual. I bet there's a surplus store in town with all that stuff. I'll go there tomorrow. They've got to know something at least. Time to get up. Uh, no, no, we're going to sleep and then we're gonna... You lay your head back on the pillow and fall fast asleep before you even know it. Alrighty, boys. Z, 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 z. Jesus. Ugh. My head. Back to tank school. Great. I'm going to figure out what the hell is going on today. If I hurry, I can probably stop by the commander's office before class starts. There's some cool artwork, guys. I'm just letting you know. Look, look, look at the trees. They're looking cool. Uh, and here we are. Huh? It literally does say tank school right on the sign. You not see that the first time, you freaking scrub? Still, it's weird as hell. Now, where was that admin office? It's got to be around here somewhere. Oh, wait. Here it is. <laughs> uh, just as you are about to open the door, you are greeted by... Oh, Jesus. Where do you think you're going, Megan? Uh... Oh, uh, no. It's freaking screwball. <laughs> you're two seconds away from getting smoked, recruit. Sergeant, this recruit wanted to speak to command regarding his placement in school. In the school. Sergeant. Do you know? Do you not like the train recruit? Do you not like me? I hope I'm not waking anybody else in my, in my house up. I am offended. I will smoke your ass so hard, the base fire crew will come running. I will bottle your tears and drink it on my next run. Now get to class. Aye, right, Sergeant. You salute and walk down the hallway towards your classroom. It's hot as balls in here, guys. I turned my fan off so you guys won't hear it through the mic. Well, shit. That didn't do me much good. I guess the surplus store is the new plan. I'll swing by there after class. They've got to know something, at least. You reach the classroom and walk inside. Taking a seat beside M4 Sherman. Alrighty, guys. Here we go. Yo, new guy. Looks like you did come back. Uh... Hey, T-34, you see that? You owe me 500 yen. What? We were taking bets that you wouldn't show that you wouldn't show back up. Looks like I'm five bucks richer. You would bet on me coming back, wouldn't you, Sherman? Before you can reply, Gunnery Sergeant Hartman enters the room. Hatch is closed, tanks and mouth shut, recruit. Wow, okay. This is going to be a long day. A few hours later. Ding dong dong ding. The classroom empties at the sound of the bell, and the tanks are all chatting in the hallway. Oh boy. Another day of class over with. I guess I should figure out where that surplus store is before I go off searching for it. Uh, who do I ask though? At the other end of the hallway, you can see Panzer IV and T-34 packing their school bags. Oh, it's the German girl, tank girl thing, and the other Russian one. <laughs> I guess I can ask one of them. Um, excuse me. Got it. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm pretty sure it's the obvious who we're gonna choose here. T-34, psych, Panzer. Of course, man. I mean, hell, why the hell wouldn't you? <laughs> Erwin. Uh, yeah, hey, I was wondering if you knew. Nine! I know nothing about the Krieg. Where the surplus store is. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Force of habit. Sorry. Uh, yeah, about the store, though. It's not like Braslow uh, didn't have significant tra 
significant ties to Prussia. Prussia? Anyway? Uh, what? Oh, right, surplus store. Yeah, do you know where it is? Mm-hmm. It's just a few kilometers from here. I can walk with you if you'd like. Oh, sure, if that's not too much trouble. Don't be silly. I'm happy to help. She winks at you. Oh man, she wants the D too, man. Oh my god. Everybody wants a D. Oh, even Gunnery Sergeant wants it. Oh my god. Panzer IV will lead you down the busy Akihabara streets. Anime billboards, girls dressed as French maids, and the bustle of tourists are everywhere. And Panzer IV stops more than once to check out the kitschy accessories. You reach another street stand, and the man behind the table is selling hair ribbons with cute characters printed on them. Oh my gosh, that's so kawaii, she says to nobody in particular. Huh, you, she, you sure seem excited. I just love kawaii things, Disu. Uh, you're taking this in Japan thing to heart, aren't you? Like, totally, I love Japan. What first got you into it? LOL She spells it out Oh L-O-L She spells it out I've always liked Japan Since the 40s Wait what When is this taking place? What the hell? <laughs> right German tank So Does your sister like it here too? My sister Oh, oh Sorry guys oh. It's like 6.30 in the morning My sister Oh Do you mean Tiger 1? We're just cousins. Anyway, she's so boring all the time. She just seems shy to me. Trust me, you haven't had to sit through a family reunion with her. How did that go? Let's just say we stopped doing reunions until 1989. Alright guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to make this a little bit longer of an episode rather than just 20 minutes or whatever. Did you just make up? Uh, never mind. Oh, here's the store. Oh, huh. That was quick. Do you want to go inside? Yeah. Oh, I'm actually kind of a little bit banned. Wait, what? I swear, I thought it was a deactivated round. What the, what? <laughs> oh God, <laughs> she shot people. Well, I guess that's as good as a reason to get to, as good as a reason I'm sorry, guys. Well, I guess that's as good a reason as any to ban someone. I was trying to fit words in there that I thought would fit better. And I, I, I'm supposed to be reading correctly. I'm supposed to set a good example. Hee <laughs> hee. I'll catch up with you later, Erwin. She winks at you as she walks across the street through traffic. She doesn't even care. What a weird girl. Each one is crazier than the last. You walk into the surplus store. Inside the walls are lined with weapons from various eras, and towards the back you can see some bookshelves stocked with what looks like field manuals and films. What kind of films? A few other customers mill about the store, and bored looking shopkeeper sits behind the counter. Jeez, I'm glad to be in here. At least everything seems normal. The shopkeeper looks up as you near the counter. Welcome to Karis's Surplus. Can I help you with anything? Do you have a headlight fluid? Why the hell would I need headlight fluid? Tell me about the tank girls. Uh, tell me about the school. Uh, sorry guys. That's all in my notes. What the hell? Oh. Oh, sorry guys. Oh. Uh, tell me about the tank girls. Because if I ask him that, he's like, Oh, it's a school for tanks. Hey, so at the school just down the road, there's a lot of these, a lot of girls there who refer to themselves as tank girls. What's that all about? Oh, them? Kind of weird at first, but they make up for it in other ways. Pretty, aren't they? Uh, sure. <laughs> hey, do I hear talk about tank girls? Oh, God. Who is it gonna be? Oh god, it's this ding -a -ling. Oh, sweet St. Mary on the hood of a Mercedes Benz. What a surprise, recruit Lamore, isn't it? Yes, sir. 
God, I was not expecting him here. Hey! Don't you dare sir me. Check your check your eyes or I'll remove them from their sockets. Uh, yes, Sarge. What is that in your hand? Can I, um, ask about the school? What's this hand thing? What's, what's this all about? We can't see his hands. So I, don't, I don't get it. If I ask him about the school, I don't think it'll give me anything like that. Uh, we haven't asked them. Uh, I'm gonna ask him. Can I um ask about the school? Hey Sarge, I'm curious about something. All right, I'll make a quick recruit. I may be a sergeant, but I'm not your mother. You sure, man? I wouldn't want him as my father, much less my mother. Ooh, sick burn, yo. Get roasted, man. I've noticed that the school has a very interesting student body. Suddenly, the sergeant's face turns from a frown to a sly grin. Oh, I see. You mean the girls, right? Like what you've seen so far? He elbows you in the ribs a little too hard. And I hate when people do that, man. They're like all up on you. They're like uh, too aggressive and stuff. Like, you know, like someone gives like a friendly punch in the arm or something. And like, it's like, bro, why'd you even do that? Man? You just trying to get an excuse to freaking hit me? Oh, I'm taking this too far. Uh, well, it's certainly not what I expected, to say the least. Neither was it for me. But like they taught you at basic, adapt and overcome. Not like I have much of a choice at this point. Maybe I should try getting in touch with the administration again and figure out why the hell I'm here. Say, Sarge, I have another question for you. How long have you worked at the school? What's your story? Right, what's your story? I want to hear more about you, you baby-faced weirdo. What did you do before working as a drill instructor? Beforehand, I was a gunner. And up until this position, I was a tank commander. Tanks are my passion. Hell, I believe I've been in every tank out there. <laughs> oh, God. L light tanks, heavy tanks, tank destroyers, you name it. I've probably been in it. Man, he gets laid. His eyes sparkle a little too much for your comfort. Better back off, Sarge. Let me ask you something, recruit. Have much experience with tanks? Just in basic? No, not really. Uh, no, not really. <laughs> no, I can't say I do. Well, you did look a bit out of... You did look a bit of a poof. What the hell is that supposed to mean, man? You call me a noob? Well, maybe this will straighten you out, recruit. He hands you the DVD that's held tightly in his hand since the beginning of the conversation. You glance quickly at the title. <clears throat> Triple XXX Ammo Rex. It has a picture of the Mao's super heavy tank on the cover. Alrighty. Shit. Sergeant, is this? He slaps you on the back, laughing. It's the only gift you're getting, recruit, so enjoy it. Wait, did he? Yeah, he just gave us a porno, didn't he? He was gonna buy that for himself, you freaking screw. He laughs to himself as he walks out of the store, waving goodbye to the shopkeeper. This place just keeps getting weirder and weirder. You tuck the DVD under your arm and start heading home. Who paid for the freaking DVD, man? I didn't see anybody pay for it. We just stole a freaking porno from that place. Back in the street, day has turned to night, and the bustle of tourists is replaced by the bustle of slightly more intoxicated tourists. As you walk home to the Akihabara, you hear a voice call out from behind you. Is it IS-2? Nah, it's IS-2. Oh, Erwin. Oh, God. Still looking the red eyes. Hey. Oh, hey, IS-2. What's up? You wouldn't believe how hard you are to catch up with. I swear, I had to jog the last three blocks. You follow me for three blocks? No, six. Oh, God, I just jogged for the last three. Okay, that's mildly disturbing. So, let's go out. You know, as tempting as that sounds, I actually was just heading home. 
That's okay. I can go with you. Uh, that's not... Oh god, look how sad she is now. Come on, let's go. Ice too, that's really sweet, but I need to go. Oh, okay, will you call me? Yeah, yeah, sure, I'll call you. But don't you worry, Ice. Yeah, sure, but for now I need to get going. I'll catch you later. That's such a derpy smile, why are you doing that? She smiles before scampering off. Ice too smiles at you as she walks off down the street. Weird tanks, weird city. You mumble as you continue to make your way home. Alrighty, boys. It's good to finally be home. You toss the sergeant's DVD on top of your desk. I was hoping at least the sergeant would have been normal. It looks like that ain't happening. I guess I'll try to get some rest before class tomorrow. Yeah. You lay on your bed and drift off to sleep. So, in review, many large caliber rounds, AT or otherwise, may bounce against properly angled armor. Even the thinnest armor can bounce a highly velocity round if the angle is severe enough. As such, take care to present as little of your armor as possible. Avoid showing the enemy your broadside, and be extremely careful of penetration from the rear. You did it right. Pfft. Rear penetration. Sounds right up to Gunny's alley. Hi, oh, Sherman. <laughs> Senpai does have a thing for flanking maneuvers. What the hell? <laughs> really? Because I have some personal intel that he prefers ammo racks. Big ammo racks. Oh. Which do you prefer? She grins teasingly. I'm not answering that question, Chairman. Lame. Recruit! What are you whispering about back there? Sir. Don't you sir me, maggot? Suddenly, you have an idea. It's gonna be a stupid idea. This recruit has a question regarding penetration. Go on. This recruit is wondering whether or not the size of the bore affects penetration, sir. Is it better to have a large bore, a longer barrel, or just the skill to aim well? <laughs> what the hell are you implying, recruit? This recruit is simply inquiring as to how the sergeant prefers to penetrate tanks. Is it even possible with a smaller gun? Da da da. Oh shit, he's pissed. <laughs> Wait, how big is your boar? She whispers. Sherman, not now. Oh, wait. Sherman, not now. Class, outside. We're having a practical drill in angling armor. Recruit Limmer here uh, has graciously volunteered himself as the first target. Sir? Don't you serve me, maggot! Outside now! When my boot goes so far up your ass, it hits teeth. Oh, boy. Personal dentist right here. What more could you ask me? All right, tanks. Which one of you is going to take the first shot at recruit Lemor here, Sergeant? He can't angle his armor. Well, he best learn real quick then. I'm screwed, mates. I volunteer, senpai. Oh God, Sherman, why? Well, if it isn't the bright American star herself, front and center. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> what type of sh what type of round should I load, Senpai? Toe the line, Sherman. Load H E. Oh god. I Recruit! Angle your armor. How? Angle it. Oh fuck. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. And I'm a righty, so let's go with the 33, 35 degrees to the right. Who the fuck am I kidding? I'm screwed. <laughs> Rounds ready, Sergeant. Take aim. Sherman, wait. Please don't shoot me. You don't want to do this. Please, please, please. Come on, man. Angle. Here it comes. Shit. Fire. Woohoo. Oh, I got GG'd. Oh, God. Dead mates. 
Danzo. Erwin. <laughs> Erwin. God? Is that you? God? Am I dead? Oh, <laughs> God. Unfortunately, you are not, recruit. Oh, you bastard. It seems the pinnacle of American engineering. And a, a little, little, little engineering. Sorry, guys. Kind of swift for that one. Couldn't hit the broadside of a goddamn aircraft carrier. Tomorrow, we'll be having class in the field. You're dismissed, maggot. Wait. I'm confused. I'm alive? Or am I dead? Or am I, like, passed out? Ugh. Oh, well, how am I? <laughs> am, am I dead? Oh, look who's in my room, boy. No, mostly not. But you did take a beating. How did I get here? You need to take it easy, Erwin. I, I don't want you to get hurt. Man, she's looking out for me, man. She, she, she's alright. I'm alright then? I can't carry you home every time you go off getting yourself into trouble. Hey, first time, alright? First time. Me? I remember not a lot actually what happened don't worry about it just try to get some sleep she puts her hand on your head oh which one <clears throat> gosh humans really can't take that much damage can they oh man she's blushing now you weren't the one getting shot at shh i know everyone um thanks for carrying me home though oh don't mention it she blushes are you gonna get a voice? I just wanted to make sure you were okay. Pentafor leans in closer. <sighs> oh my god. Uh, Erwin? I, I wanted to ask you. Oh my god. She's pissed. <laughs> Yo, new guy. <laughs> I wanted to make sure you were alright. I'm up. He's fine, Sherman. <laughs> well, I brought some snacks to cheer you up. She hands you a small bag of pretzels. Um, these are expired, Sherman. Well, thanks, Sherman. You douche. I said brought, not bought. I'm going to head home. Get some rest here, away. Oh, I need to rest. Oh, God. I don't know why I keep recording these so, like, early, but... I've stayed up, so technically it's late for my sleep schedule, but early for the day. Phew, she seemed mad. Was it something I said? Uh, no, it's alright, Sherman. Anyway, thanks for checking on me. I think I was mostly just surprised by the shot. I feel fine now. Good, because tomorrow Sergeant is having us do some outdoor thing. He wanted me to, he wanted me to bring you the address. She hands you a slip of paper with lat long... Uh, latitude, long, longitude, I guess, coordinates. 37.41 north, 141.02 east. Yep, see you tomorrow, new guy. Wow. Ugh. Oh, we's on a train, fella. The rumble of the train rolling along the tracks makes rhythmic, rhythmic patterns as you sit on the soft seats of the Inner Region Express. You tap your foot at the sound of tracks. Ba-dum. Ba-dum. The soft sound has lulled you off to sleep more than once on this trip. I did look actually on, you know, to be more immersive. I'm gonna be sure did pick the furthest place possible for a field drop, didn't he? Suddenly. The train makes a turn, and the warm summer sun casts its light through the windows. Wow, it looks beautiful. Wow, <laughs> the sun stretches out all the way on to the horizon, and the crystal blue and the crystal blue water shimmers in the sunlight. It's beautiful. Oh my god. Japan sure is beautiful. That's what that's what I just said. I wonder what he has in mind for us, though. This is probably going to be some god-awful Navy SEAL physical fitness thing. Ugh. 
At least I might pick up a higher score on my underwater knife fighting test this time. What the hell kind of test is that? The train begins slowing down as it approaches the station. When it stops, the doors open and you can smell the scent of sea salt on the wind. You get up and walk off the train. The town looks like it was built on the side of a large hill, descending into the coast. All in all, it is picturesque seaside. It's a picturesque seaside town. Damn, pretty place for a day of draining. Well, I guess I'll head down to the beach and see what Gunny has in store for us. Got some uh, nice upbeat music going on here. You arrive on the beach a few minutes, few minutes later, and the deep blue water reflects this morning sunlight. The morning sunlight. So is anyone else gonna be here? Like I, I know, like they said, they come here for the new resort class will be. So I guess the girls will be coming here. So does that mean since we're like on a beach, we might see them in bikinis? I'm just pointing out there, guys. We might. So let's keep that on. As you approach, the rest of the tanks are already chatting in a group. Erwin, she shouts as you wave, as she shout, she shouts and waves you over. She shows. Shells. Oh, so you made it. Yeah, man, I wouldn't miss it. Don't worry. Uh, um, it's nice to see you, Erwin. She says shyly. Hey, everyone. Wait, where's Sherman? Probably, probably late, as always. Oh, well, here comes the gunny. All right, maggots. After yesterday's catastrophe, you're going to work. And you're going to sweat. You will no pain. And uh, so as punishment, you're all spending a day at the beach. Oh no, not the beach. Oh, God. No, my treads are going to get ruined in the sand. Uh, I don't think this is safe for my transmission, Sergeant. You should have thought of that. Before blowing up the classroom. But that was, that was Sherman. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, look at this. If I remember correctly, Sherman blew up the classroom after you ordered her to fire off range. Yeah. Gunnery Sergeant Hartman. I brought all of you out here to have a nice time, and honestly, I'm feeling really under the attack right now. <laughs> I came out of here to have a good time, and I'm feeling honestly attacked right now. Quit being a little bitch about it, Sarge. Get freaking roasted. Gunnery Sergeant Hartman exposed. Alright, alright. You can spend the day in town. Sergeant, won't command be mad if we came all the way out here and didn't do any training? God damn it, recruit, fine. Field craft then. Go on a scavenger hunt or something. The scavenger hunt? Kawaii. Wait, do you expect us to find? What do I look like, your mother? Damn, recruit, fine. I'll write you each a list. The sergeant pulls out, a, pulls out a notebook from his pocket and begins writing out a scavenger hunt list for each of you. All right. Split up into two teams. Split up into teams of two and go find shit. <laughs> Don't finish before 1600. At least one of us is going to enjoy the beach today. Oh, God. Ah, oh, man. Who should I help on a scavenger hunt? I kind of want to go with Tiger. It's definitely a toss-up between Panzer and Tiger. No doubt. Screw you, T-34. You quit you that smug look. You, 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 no, 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 no. You just want to help find, find a crap. Screw you. I'm going to go with Tiger. Hey, Tiger. Want some help with your scavenger hunt? Yeah. You guys just fade off, I guess. You, you fade off too? Okay. She looks surprised and blushes softly. Oh, um, you want to go with me? Question mark? <laughs> sure, we can work together if you want. Oh, there's those eyes again. She giggles and grabs onto your hand. Yes, yes, yes. Damien Bryan over here. Whoa, okay. Don't squeeze so tight. Let's go. She's really excited, guys. You and Tiger One walk up the slight hill from the beach towards the town. So, what's on your list, Darwin? What can... We can do yours first. Oh, let's see. You look down at your list. Chem light batteries. Keys for a Humvee. An ID-10T form. You know what? Let's start with yours list. What the hell can I write? Okay, let's see. I need tiny umbrellas, tequila, salt, a lime, sandals, and a yukata. Whatever the hell that is. 
Wow. What a silly list. Well, it looks like a full day's work. <coughs> For some people. <coughs> Bragging guys, you know. I gotta boost my confidence, you know. Hmm. Nothing. Let's get started. You know what, guys? I'm actually gonna end the episode here. We'll start the scavenger hunt in part three. This one was kind of a long one because I didn't want to like have a whole bunch of like 20 minute parts. <sighs> so I kind of extended this one quite a bit to like a little over 40 minutes. Um, but I just wanted to say thank you all for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Let me know what you guys thought. Have this down below. And uh, I'll be posting more of this. There will be an Outlast video, probably right up after this, or soon after this gets uploaded, so keep an eye out for that. Um, thank you all for watching. Wait till I show you my Star Wars sheets. Peace. We can ride the Millennium episode. Falcon Bye. of Love. Large. Check it out, here's the story of a kid from California Fifth grade disgrace, I thought I might warn ya By Nader, retainer, this by sixth graders Kids yelled nerd, dark like Darth Vader Weird Al fan, 11 forever Not the best catcher, but computer clever Eighth grade online, internet addict I